Hello all. So I came up with a new video on Android application penetration testing series in uh, static analysis of uh, any of the Android application or any of the application uh, using automation process. So the reason why I'm sharing this method is most of the time uh, we will left something important or something juicy stuff over uh, over any of the testing in manual uh, in manual process. So uh, this automation tool will help you to find each and every possible uh, information from the application itself. So those those issues, those information could be uh, false positive, could be false negative, or it could be a malicious threat, or it could be a information which which cause a huge impact on on uh, any of the organization which you are using or choosing as a target uh, for for any for any of the application and uh, and you will be also seeing most of the uh, hard coded stuff most of the urls and other sort of stuff so without wasting any time let's get started and see how we can start with automation stuff or automation process in this static analysis so for this I'm again choosing uh, injured application that is injured Android and uh, which is again a vulnerable application which is intended to you know uh, design uh, in such a way that you will definitely get uh, an information in order to you know learn uh, something uh, something uh, about static analysis for the same. So to start with I go to uh, this github repository which is injured Android and uh, you can download the application from here that is apk release and uh, okay 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 the application is downloaded so to start with um, to start with mob sf so our okay our uh, automation tool is mob sf and to start with i'm using my own tool which is nightingale and i have configured mob sf in this particular docker image so if you want to use that image, you can directly go to my uh, repository. I'll mention the link in the description so that you can jump to that particular repository in order to use that. And for that, uh, you have to run two commands for same uh, to start the uh, mob SF framework over the container and you will be able to access this particular mob SF URL or uh, portal uh, with 8081. Okay, so uh, the question is how we can start with uh, uh, mob sf framework uh, inside the container so for that you can go to my repository i'll show you how okay so this is my repository link and if you go to the readme section i have mentioned this part so from this you will be able to uh, run this particular container and from this you have to uh, run this particular mob sf environment okay so go to our uh, container and uh, as i have already into the uh, Python environment so you can go with uh, a command called this and uh, hit with this okay I think our framework is just started mm, let me check okay yes our framework is just started so what you have to do is now upload this particular uh, uh, APK file which you have downloaded or which you have choose as, as a in um, as a target and if you so just wait for the minute and uh, it will show her all the information wow so you will be seeing all the information uh, or the process running in the background and you will be able to see all uh, processes which is running one by one to start or to extract uh, extracting the apk like uh, detecting trackers apk to java decompiling uh, to java with jdx ui uh, let's say um dex file smally file and converting all dex file to smally code uh, in order to you know uh, search for the for for uh, for further information as you can see here uh, it is extracting manifest data it is extracting uh, a binary analysis started again uh, these are many processes which we usually uh, you know skip at the time of uh, manual process so for this uh, we use uh, mob sf tool cool so so uh, this framework has completed all the information and extract the apk which we have imported so as you can see here uh, 
the average CVSS record is 6.9, uh, security record is 75 out of 100, and uh, tracker detection zero. Mm, nice. So uh, if we go to the file information, uh, see uh, this is our file application name that is uh, injured Android 1.0.12 release APK. Its size is 23.58 MB. And if we go to this, I think you will be able to see. Okay, yes, 23.6. If, okay, so if you go to the app information, you will be see this application name, uh, package name. Uh, again, uh, I have told you the package name about the same when we import uh, this APK into uh, JDX GUI. The main activity, okay, this is the main activity. And if you open the application, you will be see first screen. This is, uh, so this activity uh, at that time will call. Okay, so they have also mentioned uh, target SDK and minimum version of SDK where this application will be there to run. Um, okay, and uh, again, they have provided Android version code and other sort of thing. So if we if we uh, go in this particular section, so they have already categorized into four that is activity services receiver and providers. So if we go to the activities, uh, okay, cool. So uh, it is so this section already filters all the activities which is uh, which is interacting in this particular application so i have already told you where we have to find this particular activities link in the manifest file in the android manifest file you will be seeing all the uh, uh, activities link uh, which is which is uh, mentioned under angular and activity bracket uh, sort of parameter thing so if we go at the top okay we have to go at the top again <laughs> okay i think i have better option to scrolling cool so here you can see all the activities here you can see all the services and uh, uh, also receivers and providers and if we go to uh, scan option we have uh, two options start dynamic analysis so i have not configured this application to uh, dynamic dynamic analysis scan so in the later video, I'll show you how you can uh, configure this particular dynamics analysis so that you can start uh, dynamic testing, uh, automation testing for any of the application. Okay, so here you can see uh, decompile code and uh, here you can see the Android manifest file, uh, Smiley file, the source code, and you can download the Java code also. And if we go to uh, this Java code and you, here you can see um all the files i guess so okay so you you got all the files which is um decompiled uh in in the, uh which is decompiled from this application and if you go to smiley code uh you can see again all the files here version 4 apps okay so you got all the files dot smiley files uh decompile and you can check all the information uh, available in this particular code snippet next we go to uh, signature certificate so for an, any of the android application you have to uh, sign your application in order to install in any of the android environment so here is the certificate so uh, which proves that your application is uh, signed and you can install in your devices okay so here in this section you will be seeing all the description related stuff nothing interesting here and if you go to the application permission okay so uh, if you remember in our uh, static analysis manual testing process in our later video uh, in our previous video uh, i have mentioned you the uh, permissions in the android manifest file which is available in, at the top of this uh, top of this every file so here these are the in, uh, permissions which uh, which which shows which permission is using by the application and how about the status of the same and apart from their description and other sort of stuff so if you go at uh, api and so okay so these are the android api files nothing interested here mm, okay <laughs> okay yes okay so network security uh they have provide scope which is severity high and they have also provide uh, description like base config is insecure configured to permit clear text uh, traffic to all the domains cool 
and if we go to the manifest analysis and uh, here you can uh, just filter out from high to low and uh, here you can see all these activities are not protected that means they have uh, somehow maybe uh, provide this particular parameter that is android exported true that means you you will be able to use this particular activity outside the application environment and if we go to this uh, code analysis again there is some issues with app log information and, and something related to this mm, okay okay these are some binary information and uh, okay if you go to niap analysis um nothing interested here file analysis nothing if we go to malware okay so we have classes.dex file and it is finding uh, some ntvm code that is build dot manufacturer check nothing server location we got india maharashtra uh domain malware check okay all i think all status are good in condition because uh, from these servers they are uh, hitting or requesting any of the services everything look good if you go to the reconnaissance tab all the urls which is used by this application okay this is our firebase rule we can start enumeration uh, with this particular firebase url in order to you know uh, extend our uh, target uh, scope and if we go to email okay we have email again uh, this is very useful in uh, email reconnaissance uh, like we can enumerate all the users which all the emails which is mentioned in that particular application hard codedly with strings this is the very important command in linux where you will be able to see uh, all the related uh, strings or all the strings which is not readable by any of the operating system so it will take all uh, all your uh, executable file and get all your readable strings from this particular executable and here if you can see uh, nothing interesting here nothing nothing okay so we can go with the hard-coded secrets now this is the information which i was looking for so uh, in this section it will take all the possible strings which is uh, hard-codedly present in any of the target where you um, just choose any of the target for and uh, start uh, analysis for the stream so when you upload this uh, apk over mob sf it will take all your uh, secretly or possible hard-coded secret over this okay so in this activity section we have already discussed about the same i'll skip this if we talk about services mm, okay so we have okay so we have services url over there where uh, this is using some component discovery service and if we go to the receiver section we have this particular receiver activity and uh, if we go to the libraries nothing here if we go to the files okay so it is the complete file structure of the apk where it start with android manifest file and go with meta ins folder and then it will go to let's say um, asset folders and uh, it may go to again kotlin folders with so it will uh, extract all your uh, file directory in this particular apk okay so this is it for today and i hope you learned something new with this video as i have mentioned all the automation related stuff so uh, start learning by uh, by follow these and do your own research for the same and uh, mention uh, your research in the comment below so that i'll also learn something from you also and uh, rest of this uh, see you on the next chapter of the series. Bye-bye.